Off the top here at 6, a bombshell announcement from D.C.'s outgoing Attorney General. That's right. A.G. Carl Racine has filed a civil lawsuit against the Washington Commanders, owner Dan Snyder, the NFL, and its commissioner, Roger Goodell. And we have team coverage for you this evening. Our chief legal correspondent, Katie Barlow, joins us here live in the studio with what's next for the lawsuit. But we want to begin with David Kaplan. He joins us live from Northwest D.C. David, did we learn of any new allegations today? Well, Angie, much of what is in this complaint has already been publicly reported, but D.C. Attorney General Carl Racine, his office doing their own investigation and today announcing that they filed a civil consumer complaint connected to the Washington commanders. I talked to a former employee after the announcement today who says this announcement, which will play out in a court of law, gives her hope. Today felt like the first day that... Um They've got our back, and, and people are going to learn the truth. The defendants here are the Washington commanders, Dan Snyder, the NFL, Commissioner Roger Goodell. The D.C. Attorney General alleges the commander's toxic workplace culture was unacceptable, but allegedly covering it up. The agreement between the NFL and the team to share insights on what was supposed to be an independent NFL investigation that was unfair to D.C. consumers who expected transparency. We allege the, that the National Football League and its commissioner, Roger Goodell, Mr. Snyder, and the commanders misled the public about what was being done to address the allegations of harassment and the toxic culture that the commanders maintained. They did all of this to hide the truth, protect their images, and let the profits continue to roll. We heard from the commanders shortly after this announcement. The Snyders saying they acknowledge that the workplace culture was unacceptable, say they've apologized many times, and added that although the lawsuit repeats a lot of innuendo, half-truths, and lies, they welcome this opportunity to defend the organization for the first time in a court of law and to establish once and for all what is fact, and what is fiction. The NFL also says that it stands by the original investigation done by attorney Beth Wilkinson into the team, says that the penalty against the team was sufficient and that the workplace culture of the commanders has also improved. They also, the NFL did, added that they will be fighting this in court and looking forward to filing their side of the story in the coming legal documents we are likely to see. We asked Attorney General Carl Racine if he planned to subpoena Dan Snyder stemming from all of this. His answer to that question, quote, of course. Back to you.